Um, over the past two decades, um, we have collectively, I think, made big strides in improving health care and reducing suffering around the world through improving the capability and the capacity of medical personnel. And as a result, people are living longer. They're living longer than ever before. And there is real progress in some critical areas, including reducing child and maternal mortality. And it is, I think, a very impressive story. But nonetheless, despite the progress, particularly in Sub-Saharan Africa, as we all know, maternal, nutritional, newborn, other diseases, all sorts of problems still take far, far too many lives. In 2010, um, the U.S. President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief, known as PEPFAR, the National Institutes of Health and the Health Resources Services Administration, collaborated to launch the Medical Education Partnership Initiative, or MEPI. And I think that MEPI is truly a visionary project to develop and enhance models of medical education and research development in Sub-Saharan Africa. And since its inception, the United States has invested $130 million to transform medical education by training a new generation of healthcare workers in 12 countries across the continent. And I know many of you are representing those countries here now, today. And the direct award of MEPI grants to African institutions represents a new model of U.S. funding that empowers grantees and leads to greater national ownership and sustainability in beneficiary countries. I think it is a very important change in how we're doing things. And I am very, very pleased um, to have heard that it is working very, very well. Here in Kenya, the University of Nairobi is one of 13 African universities that have received the MEPI award, or a MEPI award. In 2010, the institution inaugurated um, the Partnership for Innovative Medical Education in Kenya, or Prime K, in collaboration two of its long-standing training partners, the University of Washington and the University of Maryland in Baltimore. The University of Nairobi, I know, is committed to sustaining the work uh, linked to this award and has already influenced policies in healthcare practice in Kenya by initiating several groundbreaking projects. MEPI is improving the health and well-being of Kenyan mothers and children. For example, in just five years, this partnership has reduced pediatric mortality, and dehydration, and malnutrition from 11% to 6% in Mbagabi Hospital here in Nairobi. The University of Nairobi has also collaborated with the Kenya Field Epidemiology and Laboratory Training Program and the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in implementing a training program, Basic Epidemiology for Senior Medical Students. And this training promotes the use of health-related data public decision making and is improving disease surveillance, investigation, and response to outbreaks. I'm very pleased that this symposium is also going to be focusing on the Nursing Education Partnership Initiative, or NEPI. You know, we all know from our visits to hospitals that the nurses are really the critical people. They're on the front lines delivering the care, so it is really, I think, a very important part of this entire effort and project. I'm very pleased that it was launched in 2010 and that it will help improve quantity and quality of nursing care, improving uh, the workforce, nursing workforce in Central, Eastern, and Southern Africa. In neighboring Ethiopia, I understand the shortage of facilities and the challenge of reaching rural sites where there's a high prevalence of malaria, tuberculosis, and HIV is limited the opportunities for nurses to gain in those areas. Um, uh, critical clinical training. However, over the past couple of years, NEPI has placed 1,141 students, faculty, and clinical instructors in these rural areas in order to help strengthen the skills that nurses have in, tra in treating such diseases. Now, you all know even better than I do um, how frequently deadly diseases, deadly infectious diseases, cross borders. Disease knows no and when we all work together to protect communities from diseases like polio, cholera, Ebola, we help to protect everyone, all of us. 
everyone around the entire world. When we work together to address other threats to our health and well-being, including non-communicable diseases like cancer and diabetes, we reduce disruptions to health economies around the world. Frankly, when we reduce the burden of disease, we help people. We help breadwinners, we help families, we help children, we help newborn babies. We make a huge difference. And the United States government is committed to continuing its extensive and collaborative work with Kenya and across Africa to ensure that countries Governments and healthcare systems really have the capacity to prevent, detect, and respond to the broad range of diseases that are threatening people in this region. Programs like MEPI and NEPI and opportunities to share knowledge and learn from one another, like today's symposium, represent not just a strong partnership between governments, such as government of the United States and the government of Kenya, but they also underscore the recognition that meeting the medical needs of people on the continent requires a coordinated effort across all of society by the many international partners that are active on these issues. So to all of you, particularly to all of the doctors, nurses, researchers, administrators, experts, international colleagues, I just want to say a sincere thank you for the hugely important work you are making a difference each and every single day. And I want to thank you for taking the time to be here, taking part of this program, working together to tackle Africa's health challenges. And I want to commit to you, on behalf of the government and the people of the United States, that we're going to remain your steadfast partner in helping to meet these challenges in each and every one of the countries where you're working. It is critically important Thank you very much again for coming. Omoja to Songe Pele, together, moving forward, and Penny Sana. Thank you very, very much. Thank you so much, Ambassador. I'm Roger Glass, I'm the director of the Bodhi Center. I'm here to introduce, is that working? I'm here to introduce Dr. Francis Collins. But I can't look out on this audience and not smile and thinking that six years ago, Dr. Collins was here with you, with Dr. Goody, looking at 